The opposition's attempt to host a public forum was banned by the police commissioner today. In response, opposition leader Don Polier summoned the police commissioner Gary Bucky to his office to clarify the issue. Polier called on the police not to continue suppressing freedom of expression. That's why the opposition will not tire, will not waver in our pursuit, in our pursuit to making sure that human rights are upheld, our people's right to expression of themselves is not marginalized or suppressed in any form, or in any way. That's why the opposition did organize a formal forum at the Jack Piddick Park to ensuring every Papua New Guinean comes in to share their views and express themselves. He says they have come to a mutual understanding on the functions and duties of the police as outlined in the Constitution. The opposition understands the reasons of the ban and will work with the police coordinate future forums. A firm belief that we cannot be told as to how to do our job or to freely engage in open dialogue and free expression uh, with our people on issues that affect us. And these are two definitive functions that exist between us, the leaders of parliament, and the police force have been well discussed in our meeting, as understood. Police Commissioner Gary Bucky was concerned unrest will eventuate should the forum be allowed to take place in public. He says there is limited manpower to maintain crowd control and that the forum is best held in a confined venue. In an open area like Jack Piddick Park, you're inviting all kinds of people to go and sit down and listen. And the chances, 99% out of 100, there will be something else happening in there. The forum was aimed at informing the public on the policies of the opposition as the alternative government, also to discuss other issues such as the budget and the drought. The forum has now been postponed to a later date. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.